Let's take a look at the shape of a distribution, how we describe the shape, and how that's going to affect the mean and the median in relation to one another. The skewness is a measure of how symmetrical, or in this case, asymmetrical, a distribution is. When something is symmetrical, uh, it's going to look the same roughly on both sides. When something is off to one side, so most of the numbers are off to the right, and we have this kind of little tail of numbers on our graph, on our histogram, we're going to say it's skewed left. Now, the reason we say left, even though the data is off to the right, is because there is this tail over here. So we have this little tail sticking out, and it's pointing to the left. So wherever the tail points is where the skew points. And then same idea the other direction. If we have a tail to the right, we're going to say that we are skewed to the right. Now, all of these say unimodal under them, and we'll talk about that in a second. Last one is constant. When you have a graph where it's pretty much the same all the way across, you could probably describe it as symmetrical, but it's not so much that it folds in half, it's that it never changes. So whenever you have a graph that never changes, you would just call it constant. Now onto those peaks. Whenever you put something in front of modal, you're talking about the number of peaks that you have in your graph. So for example, a unimodal graph has one peak just like all of the graphs that we saw right here. These are all unimodal. If you have two peaks, you'd call it bimodal. Three peaks, probably guessed it, trimodal. So you just add a little word in front of it. You're not going to see graphs that are really more than trimodal, because generally they would be lots of crazy data going on. That's really the most you're ever going to describe. When you're looking at an actual uh, set of data, an actual histogram or an actual stem plot, you're going to want to, in your head, kind of smooth out what the curve looks like. Yes, technically there is a little peak here and a little peak here, and it's not a perfectly smooth graph, but part of that is because of how the graph was made. So if I were to smooth it out in my head, it's going to look something kind of like this. And I see that I have a lot of my data off to the right, and then I have this little tail that kind of heads over to the left. So this graph would be, I'll even type it right here, skewed left. Now this graph right here is tricky because it's up and down. So how is it going to be skewed left or right? Whenever you have numbers counting from lower to higher, you can just tilt your graph. Now, if you don't have a piece of uh, paper or some way to tilt it, in front of you. You can just imagine tilting it in your head. And you'll see from doing this that your smoothed out graph kind of looks something like this here. More of your data is off to the right. Your tail is off to the left. So this graph would also be skewed left. And just to show you what it would look like in the original orientation where it was kind of skewed pointing up, anything that's pointing back towards the lower numbers is going to be skewed left pointing down towards the higher numbers would be skewed right. Now the mean and the median. If you have a graph like this that is skewed, more data is off to, in this case, the left, which means it is skewed to the right, what's going to be bigger, the mean or the median? Well, let's imagine for a second here that we actually put the value of whatever number this is below inside each of these boxes. For example, this little box down here is going to be a 1, this one's going to be a 1, a 1, these will be 2's, 3's, and so forth, such that it looks like this. All of these are 1's in our distributions, 2's in our distributions, 3's. If we put this all in our calculator, we will find that the mean is 3.74 and the median is 3. Now why is it that before I calculated this, I actually knew that the mean was going to be bigger. Well, our median here is the middle value. If we put all the numbers in order and just count, it doesn't care how big or small they are, just the middle number. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the way up 16 numbers here. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 
uh, 17 and my middle value is this 3. That's where I get my median from, it's the middle. Now the mean, I don't care how many numbers there are above or below the middle, I care how big those numbers are. So on the high end here, I have numbers that are really far away from this middle. That 11 is going to pull the average up. And so whatever direction the skew is, so in this case the skew is to the right, that's where the mean is going to get pulled. The mean is going to get stretched from that median of 3 to the right, and that's why you get something closer to 3.74, almost 4. So I always start by finding your median, and then your mean will be pulled whatever direction the skew is.